Which equation is the standard form of y plus 3 equals negative 2 thirds parentheses x minus 3? For standard form, we need the x and the y on the same side and the constants on the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute the negative 2 thirds. So when we distribute there, we get negative 2 thirds x. And when we distribute there, negative 2 thirds of negative 3 is plus 2. Now again, we need to get the x and y on the same side, so I'm going to do plus 2 thirds x to both sides. And I'm going to get 2 thirds x plus y plus 3 equals 2. Now we need to get the 3 over there, so we're going to do minus 3 to both sides, and we get 2 thirds x plus y equals negative 1. Standard form, there cannot be fractions. So we need to multiply every single term in on both sides by the lowest common denominator. In this case, it's going to be 3. So let's multiply everything here by 3 and everything here by 3. So that would be 2x plus 3y equals negative 3, which is choice D. Write the point-slope form of the equation of the line with a slope of negative 3 that passes through the point negative 2, 3. Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So we're going to plug in the y coordinate from the point, the x coordinate from the point, and the slope. So it's going to be y minus 3 equals negative 3 parentheses x. This is a minus sign and the x is also a negative so it's really going to be plus 2. Write the slope-intercept form of 2y equals negative 2 minus 4x. Slope-intercept form, the y needs to be alone. So all we need to do is divide everything by 2. So when we divide over here by 2, we get y equals. When we divide over here by 2, we need to divide that term by 2 and that term by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2x. And we just need to switch the order. The x term needs to be closer to the equal sign. So y equals negative 2x minus 1. That's choice B. Write the slope-intercept form of a line that has a slope of negative 6 fifths and a y-intercept of negative 2. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We leave y and x alone. We change m to be the slope, so negative 6 fifths. And we change the y-intercept, we change b to be negative 2. Write the slope-intercept form of the equation y plus 1 equals negative 2 parentheses x minus 3. Slope-intercept form, the y needs to be alone. So after we distribute the negative 2, negative 2x plus 6. We're going to just subtract 1 from both sides and then the y will be alone. y equals negative 2x plus 5. That's choice B. Write the slope intercept form of y plus 3 equals 5 halves parentheses x plus 4. Same thing as question 5. We just have to get y alone. So we're going to distribute the 5 halves. 5 halves of 4 is 10. And we're just going to subtract 3 from both sides. y equals 5 halves x plus 7. That's choice A. Write the standard form of the equation of the line with a slope of 1 half that passes through the point 4, 2. Since they gave us the slope and they gave us a point, I'm going to write this in point-slope form. They gave us the slope is 1 half, so I'm going to put that in for m. And they gave us x and y coordinates, so I'm going to put 4 in for x1. And I'm going to put 2 in for y1. Oops. Now we need to uh, get it in standard form, so we need to get x and y on the same side. So I'm going to do... Uh, distribution on the right and get 1 half x minus 2. 
I'm going to move the y to the right by doing minus y to both sides. And I'm going to get negative 2 equals 1 half x minus y minus 2. Uh, the x and y are together. Now I just need to get the 2 over here. So I'm going to do plus 2 to both sides. And I'm going to get 1 half x minus y equals 0. And this is almost standard form, but we can't have any fractions. So we're just going to double everything in the problem here. So we double that. We double that and we get zero equals uh, half double is one and negative y double is negative two y. So that is x minus two y equals zero. Choice B. Graph x minus four y equals negative four. I can't graph it in the current form because y is not alone. So let's move y to the other side by doing plus 4y to both sides. And we would get x equals 4y minus 4. Uh, now we need to move the 4 to the other side. So let's do plus 4 to both sides. And we're going to get x plus 4 equals 4y. Uh, now to get y alone, we just need to divide everything by 4. And we're going to get y equals 4 divided by 4 is 1, and x divided by 4, there's a coefficient of 1 here, so 1 divided by 4 is 1 fourth, and we still have the x there. So y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. Now to graph this, the y-intercept is 1, and the slope is 1 fourth, which means we need to rise 1 and run 4. Going this way, we need to rise 1 and run 4. That's enough points, let's just connect it using a straight edge. There it is. And we just need to make sure to label it y equals 1 fourth x plus 1, or you can label it with the original equation also. Write the equation of the line graphed in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We need to know the y-intercept and we need to know the slope. The y-intercept is right there, it's minus 2. The slope is rise over run, we just need to find another point to rise and run to. So I'm going to use that point. That would mean we would be rising 3 and running 1. The line is going downhill from left to right. When I rose, I rose 3 up, so that's positive. But I went left, which is negative, so one of these numbers uh, should be negative. So our slope is negative one-third x. Uh, so our equation is y equals negative one-third x minus two. And that's the correct format. Write the point-slope form of the equation of a line that passes through the points two, negative one, and one, two. Point-slope form, I need to know the slope, which we do not have. So let's calculate slope using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to say this is x1 and this is y1, and this is x2 and this is y2. So if we plug all those numbers in, we're going to get uh, 2 minus negative 1 all over 1 minus 2. This would simplify to be 3 over negative 1. Our slope is negative 3. So then you can cross off choice A immediately. Uh, now we need to figure out which uh, equation has the, one of the points correctly written. So let's start with this point. Uh, our equation needs to have a, a 2 and a negative 1, 2 in the x spot. So it's not this one, right? Because there's no... Uh, oh, well, it could be that point. Well, let's come back to that. Uh, we need 2 to be in the x spot and negative 1 to be in the y spot. Remember the signs here are actually going to be reversed in point-slope form because point-slope form has minuses that should be here. So we're actually looking for a negative 2 and a positive 1. So a negative 2 and a positive 1. I believe it's choice C here. Let's just double check this. This has the correct slope, but it says x should be negative 1 and y should be positive 2. So that's not right. This one says that x should be 2 and y should be 
one, and that's not true either. So it is choice C. Write the slope intercept form of three X minus two Y equals negative 18. Slope intercept form means Y needs to be alone. So let's move this three X. Negative two, negative two Y equals negative three X minus 18. Uh, the negative two needs to go away. So let's divide everything here by negative two. Make sure you're dividing everything by negative two. So we're gonna get three halves X. Negative 18 divided by negative two is positive nine. So our equation is Y equals three halves X plus nine. Write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line with a slope of negative one that passes through the point three, one. So we need slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. They gave us the slope of negative one. So I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, we don't know the y-intercept, and they didn't tell us the y-intercept, but they did tell us an x and a y. So I'm going to plug those into the equation. So 1 is y, and 3 is x, but I don't know b. So if I simplify this equation, we're going to have 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Uh, if I want to get b, why don't I add 3 to both sides, and I get 4 equals b. So our y-intercept in this must be 4. We already know our slope is negative one, so our equation is y equals negative x plus four. That's the b that we just found. The slope of negative one is what they told us. Write the slope intercept form of the equation of a line that passes through the points zero, five, and negative one, negative four. Uh, slope intercept form, we need to find the slope. So let's do our y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Uh, let's say y2 is negative 4 and y1 is 5. Let's say our x2 is negative 1 and our x1 is 0. So when we subtract this, we get negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. Our slope is negative 9 divided by negative 1, which is 9. Uh, slope intercept, we also need the y-intercept, which is not given to us. But if we take y equals mx plus b, we plug in uh, the m that we just calculated and one of the x's and one of the y's that we were given, we can calculate b. So let's use the first point. I like the zero there. So let's say that y is five, m is nine, x is zero. We don't know b. Nine times zero is zero. Zero plus b equals five. Well, we can just get rid of the zero there. B is equal to five. Hey, now we have our slope. Now we have our y-intercept. So our equation is y equals nine X plus five. And I'm gonna test this really quick. If I put zero in for X, I'm gonna get nine times zero plus five, which is five. Let's try this point two. Uh, nine times negative one is negative nine. Negative nine plus five is negative four, which is what we should get. So that equation is correct. Write the standard form of negative three plus four sevenths y equals one sevenths x. I don't like these fractions, so I'm gonna start by multiplying everything in this whole problem by seven. That's the least common denominator. So if I multiply everything here by seven and everything here by seven, all the fractions will go away. So we'll be left with negative 21 plus four y equals uh, x because one seventh of seven is one. Uh, now standard form, we need the X and the Y together. So let's do minus four Y to both sides. And we get negative 21 equals X minus four Y. Technically this is correct, but I'm gonna change the order here and put the X and the Y on the left. X minus four Y equals negative 21. Write the standard form of a line that has a slope of negative one fifth and a y-intercept of three. If they give us a slope and a y-intercept, well, I'm gonna write it in slope-intercept form. That is the equation in slope-intercept form. Y equals m, one fifth, negative one fifth for m, x plus the y-intercept of three. But we need standard form, so we need to get the x and the y on the same side. So let's do plus one fifth x to both sides. We're gonna get one fifth x plus y equals three. 
This is almost done, but we can't have that fraction there. So let's multiply everything by five. And we're gonna get x plus five y equals 15 right there, choice C.